Thanks for joining us. We are talking to Alok Shah. He's Vice President, Network Strategy, BD and Marketing at Samsung Electronics America. Alok, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So Alok, what is the 5G strategy at Samsung? Sure, Samsung's been leading research and development into 5G technologies for the last decade. And we really did start in 2009. We've been first to market with every new technology innovation as part of 5G. We brought our first system to market for proof of concept five years ago. We were first to commercialize 5G at the end of last year and we're moving into 2019 with a whole host of new products and innovation. So why did you decide to collaborate with HPE? HPE partnership is really perfect fit of best in class solutions. Uh, edge to core, we feel that between the two companies, we can offer a complete solution to our customers. So what will be the joint value proposition to customer and market? The joint value proposition is really centered around being able to offer best in class hardware and best in class software. HPE has a long history of building top of the line telecom class hardware solutions and Samsung with its leadership in 5G and its long history in the network infrastructure business is bringing additional software and hardware capabilities to the solution. So what can you tell us about your new virtual RAM solution and how it can help customers transition quicker to 5G? So the virtualized RAM platform is a hardware platform built by HPE and with software on top of it from Samsung. The, the industry started by virtualizing the core network to bring flexibility and innovation into the heart of the network and over time we're moving closer to the antenna. Virtual RAN brings all kinds of benefits to customers, centering around flexibility in the way that they allocate capacity and software upgrade paths to bring new technologies to market very, very quickly. So for our customer base among cellular operators, they take advantage of the flexibility and dynamic nature of the network. And for our customer base among enterprises and end users, they get these applications that can be brought to market very quickly to serve the needs of their uh, business. So how does the technology keep the data at the edge for processing with control at the core? So the architecture of a VRAN is to be able to put your control processing in the core network, which doesn't have the same computation requirements of your user plane. And you push the user plane closer to the edge of where your users are so that that processing and the storage can be available with more low latency solutions. Faster responsiveness from the network, uh, security is better because user data doesn't have to go all the way back into the core of the network, it can stay local to an enterprise location. So how can the system fit into the new 5G rollout? VRAN is a core component of 5G networks. Operators are looking for the flexibility and dynamic allocation of capacity that they can get out of these software-based systems. And so, fundamentally, we expect VRAN to be part of every 5G rollout, and the transition becomes very smooth from one technology to another because so much of the functions are built in software rather than dedicated hardware. So operators can take their 4G networks and over time bring new VRAN capabilities that support both 5G and 4G, uh, and then over time they've kind of future-proofed their architecture for the long term. Alok Shah, thank you very much. Thank you very much.